چون اینوادسوری ایده ای خب هیدروفونیکولی سات بوری سب اتوماتیزاسیاس. سو تا تکنیکولی اما گرام سپلی از دانه زی اینوادسیات ویتان هیدروفونیکولی سات بوری آریستالیان اینوادسوری ایده ایم تو آرچر در بات خالی میشه تو سرمایه آن مقدرت. امیدواری که این ری مارت خوی چرد با از جرب خونک لب سیرت سه دا چرد با آنو آرچر دا پستیسی دا بیش خامکی میکات بود است در اقتصاد بیرا مکوانل مکوانلی پروductیو پرو بهوری مسالیانی آریدا اما استانو جام تلی پروductیو آریدا تا شیل لب میسی کنترلی آن مقالت چون واقعیت تیم استرایس که واقعیت هات اوتوماتوری چارگویدن مسالی سعی میکنم چون ایدیا مشتوق مرکز مالودی نبود وقت هان تی تی امید ارا ریال دوست تریز دریل بیت مارکت 80 درصد آن 80 درصد سعی میکنم پلیپس چونی مارکت آن ساکت ولش آن ارا دو اگری کالچر پیدا نمود ایس کادل بسش ولی باس ای خلارا میت ازیت کامویی که نبا تو خود آمی دریس ما سپاین اترا آن ایگیو میت از ما یک آن کاتسی لبی تو پرومتی ای 80 درصدی تو پرومتی شاید با 80 درصدی تو پرومتی گاش نجیش را ایگیو راودن بیس میت از سال دو تر ترتی کالا زر طولی شدی تو تیک نبا چه امتویس مگر ممزده بله بیارت دا چه ام جرا چه ام نیدایس. Hello everyone, I'm delighted to be here. My name is Katie and I'm representing Bubbles Tech, a startup that is going to make high-tech hydroponic farms for everyone. Nick is CEO and co-founder, Dato is CTO and co-founder. They are talented guys who are very good at IT, electronics, automation, uh, chemistry and physics. For the last two years we are researching hydroponics and they got very good skills in plumbing too. <laughs> well, <laughs> and they are co-founders of successful startup company. Uh, it's called Softgen and it's operating in software development industry in Georgia. Well, Hydroponic farming is an innovative way of planting and it's future of agriculture because it needs 10 times less water and 100 times less land. It needs no soil and no pesticides. So, uh, <coughs> despite of its huge advantages and rapid market growth, hydroponic farms today are like computers before they became personal. It's very expensive and very difficult for an average person to operate it. It's difficult because there are too many things that need to be controlled on a daily basis, such as a pH level, uh, electrical conductivity, uh, air conditioning, temperature, humidity, and so on and so on. Uh, so it's also very sensitive to human errors. And that's why mostly big businesses can operate hydroponic farms today successfully, and it remains a challenge for households and small communities. By using ICT, we are going to make hydroponic farms personal, that is affordable and easy to operate for small communities. We are working on a um, uh, high-tech uh, software and hardware, high-tech platform that will automate the process from seedling to harvest. Automation will reduce labor costs, uh, will cut energy use and eliminate human errors. And our solution is open source, so we are going to design an um, ecosystem around this product. We are designing a modular API, and we want to create an ecosystem around it, so like OpenStack, so different mm -hmm. hardware and software manufacturers can use our solution to attract their clients. Mm -hmm. And we want to make our products convenient, so we offer one-stop solution. That is, we can build a greenhouse, we can build a hydroponic farm, hydroponic system inside. Um, uh, we will bring our hardware and software to automate the processes. We will offer monthly support and we will offer nutrition supply. This is our lab. Here we are testing and deploying our ideas and we are uh, on track to finishing our prototype. Uh, hardware looks a bit messy right now, but final product will be like this. <laughs> Well, Georgian market is quite attractive for our product because Georgia is an agricultural country with 50% of its workforce in agriculture, but they can only satisfy 20% of market demand. And there are more and more people who are interested in indoor farming. Um, in last 1.5 years, number of greenhouses increased from uh, 7,400 to 13,500. 
<laughs> and this is very important for us because we think these people are going to be early adopters of our product because they already know advantages of indoor farming, some advantages, not all. But um, there is also new markets, huge markets. We have five early uh, evangelists, and two of them never had any experience in agriculture. They just like this idea, and they see sustainable profit in this business. Well, we searched how hydroponic became successful in other countries, like America, Spain, Singapore, and so on, and we found that in all these countries, there was government support for farmers at early stages. And the uh, agricultural sector is already a <laughs> priority sector in Georgia, and we do have funds that are willing to invest in this sector. So we will facilitate this process and we will talk to government agencies, we will talk to USAID, we will talk to banking sector to make some funds available for farmers in order they to be able to buy our product. This is how we are going to make profit. So 60 square meter hydroponic farm will cost 25K with automation and everything. Uh, we will have 52% gross margin for core product, 80% from monthly support, and 25% from nutrition supply. Uh, well, there are some competitors on the market. For example, Fujitsu is working on um, automation cloud. Um, that is not only for indoor farming, but for outdoor farming and for animal husbandry as well. So it's a bit complex for huge scale and expensive. Bubble Stack and Growtainer are using old shipping containers for um, hydroponic system, but they are limited in scale. It's 30 square meter, and it can be used for only leafy greens. You can't have strawberry or cucumber or whatever in their farms. Uh, and they are very expensive, from 70K to 90K. <laughs> so there is no one that offers scalable automated hydroponic farm um, that can be used for varieties of crop. So with our solution, we want to fill this gap on the market. Um, to finish MVP, we need 40K. Then we are going to launch it with three or five of our early evangelists. And based on their feedback, uh, we will enhance the products. We will need 10K more for that. And after that, we will need second round of funding, total of 450K, which will be used for strategy development, staffing, showrooms, marketing, and sales. Um, uh, with our calculations, so we think we will have break even in 14 months. That means 40 farms sold, which is quite realistic. Thank you. Very good, sir. Very good. So I really like your open source model because that, that will give real traction yes. on, on a fast path. Do you have a sense, uh, you know, you're targeting, your thesis is you're targeting the market where the smaller yes. user also would also be as opposed to the big, uh, yes. that do the expensive thing today. The, by definition, this doesn't exist yet for those small people because it's not affordable. Do you have a sense of how many smaller farmers or even non-farmers would see this as a very interesting thing to do? Is there, is there any way to get a feel for, did you do any checking the community as an example or talking to the small farmers? Yes, of course, and this was the motivation because there are thousands of poor people in Georgia yes, and they are yes. like doing hard work for right. around a year this and suddenly there better. is two minutes of <laughs> hail and they lose everything for a year. <coughs> so they can't even believe that it's possible and this kind of idea mm -hmm. can work, no land, no <laughs> soil. <laughs> wow, yes. Good, yes. good, great. So we so think anybody on your team that has done hydropo yeah, hydroponic farming before? She mentioned it. Yes, we have this uh, small, uh, la no, we call it la lab. No, no, on the team, who's done hydroponic? You said two years experience with hydroponic. Yes, Nika and Tato. Okay. Yeah, both uh, of them. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so in what, what markets today in the world are there successful hydroponic activity? What are the markets? What other markets did you research? Yes, in USA, it's very successful. Where? In USA. Really? It's very yeah, successful. It started yeah. in, the in Spain, it's very US successful. Australia, big. Singapore. Is that right? Yeah. Emirates. Yeah. Yes. The Netherlands yeah. pioneered this. Yes. Yeah. 
Never see it so have, have you thought about specializing in no, one really type really of plant, like flowers or like strawberries or like? It depends no. on the customer and market, what, whatever they see profitable. They can just choose what they want to grow, <laughs> strawberry or cucumber in a software and like it will be adjusted. I mean, temperature and other. That's more complex for you to supply. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, the big, the big thing here for those that, and this guy here knows this because he's living in Israel. Hmm. You, yes. you mentioned lower uh, water consumption, but yes. we have a massive problem in California where we supply 70% of our country's crops and we have massive water shortages. So this taking the amount of water needed down by, yeah. what was it, 50%? Uh, is huge yeah. yes. uh, to change the economics in the relative to water in particular. Absolutely. Of course, the major hydroponic crop in California happens to be marijuana. Now, of course. Yeah. Right. Well, that is the fastest growing crop, That's too. That's the biggest yeah. potential market as well. Yeah. Fast, yeah. Fast, fast exactly growing. right. Micrograss. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Georgia is rich with water, but anyway, <laughs> this right. is yeah. innovation. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. This is very good, Kate. Thank right. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.